Y'all, I'm so happy I upgraded. I purchased myself a new camera. I'm like, <laughs> it's borrowed. It's, bo <laughs> it's borrowed. But it's mine for today. And I have um, a Rode mic. So hopefully that works and that takes out the echo. And it's autofocus. Like, what is it called when you move and it focuses? It's autofocus. Oh, it's autofocus. Like, I'm moving <laughs> and it's focusing. <laughs> so y'all can see everything I'm doing. I'm gonna show you how to do this hairstyle from start to finish. I'm gonna show you my hair pattern um, and just how to do the technique. I have several, several videos on already how I do crochet braids, so I'm gonna leave them in the description box below. Also, um, I got the hair from Beauty to Bar. That is B-A-U-T-Y. No, U-T-Y, Beauty. Yeah, B-A-U-T-Y. The number two, bar.com. I'll leave it in the description box as well. Um, yeah, I pretty much love this here. You're gonna see for yourself, the quality is dope. So let's just get started. Okay, okay, so my hair is looking really bad. It was a bun. I swear to God, it was a bun. But now it's just like, it's just like, just slinging it. It was cute yesterday. I'll probably show a picture so you can believe me. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna take this out now. All right, there we go. I'm very happy because I can actually get my hair in a ponytail now. <laughs> hair growth on point, yes. And um, again, that's the whole point of this protective styles, like all these protective styles I've been doing, that's the whole point, is to grow out my hair and is to grow out the heat damage that I experienced. So that's why I've been doing protective styling lately for the past four or five months I've been protective styling and it's been working. Okay, so since I'm doing a side part, I'm gonna braid my hair in that way and I'm gonna braid it in swooping motion so it could fall on my face. <sighs> that feels so good. I love my deep part, so I'm gonna part it probably like right here. I mean, I can't even see shit. That's straight. That's straight. It looks straight. There's a few techniques that I use when it comes to my braiding pattern. Um, a lot of people do not explain this technique. I don't explain it either, so I'm definitely gonna explain it in this video. So right now I'm just doing regular swoops. Okay, so this is one of my techniques right here. What I'm gonna do is this. I'm gonna braid two little braids by that part. So I'm gonna braid this back and I'm gonna braid on the other side back. You want them skinny, little braids, not thick braids, okay? And you wanna do this before you start swooping your hair, okay? Because if you start swooping your hair and you start by the part, then you can't do the two little braids first, if you get what I'm saying. So just, just follow the order. Braid the two little braids first, then braid your swoops like this, okay? This could probably be like two more braids right here. And then on this side, two braids also. So this is my braiding pattern. I got my two skinny braids right here alongside the part. This is the part right here. And then I have my regular braids right here, my straight backs, straight backs, and then my curvy, slightly curvy braids. And that's gonna have the hair fall like this. This is the hair right here. This is the hair that I'm using. It's from beautytobar.com. It's awesome. Um, I purchased about four packs. This only needs four packs because each bundle comes with a lot of hair. And look, they have like this cute little bow tie thing on it. That's like the first time I've ever seen that before. Usually I see like hair in the actual plastic and stuff like that, but that's a cute little concept. I feel like I'm actually getting like some Brazilian bundle or something. This is a close up of it. This curl pattern is super dope and I have never seen a curl pattern like this before. So I'm very like excited to see how it comes out. Yeah, this is gonna be real cute. Look at that. Girl, I'm styling. So right now I'm just gonna install all the regular pieces. I'm gonna install the sides, the swoops, and then I'm gonna break down the skinny braid side so you can see exactly how to make that part look extremely natural and blend in with the rest of the hair. I'm also gonna show you guys how to do the invisible part technique. I usually skip about a half an inch to an inch between each um, hair that I crochet in. For every um, 
part that I skip, like you see like I crocheted here and then I skip this part and then I crochet here. Remember I skipped like about half an inch to an inch. Wherever I skip, I put the crochet right on top of that so it, it falls um, on the part that I skipped, if you get what I'm saying. See like this falls right on the area that I skipped. So everything just falls real nice. I really, really love this curl pattern. Like seriously. Like look at it. Like I don't even have to separate or anything like that. And I probably won't. Like I'll probably just keep it like this. I'll probably separate it a little bit just to add a little bit more kink and volume to it. But this curl pattern is really, I'm really feeling this. And for the people that have longer hair than myself, the ends of your braids, you could pin it. Okay, so the color that I have right now is 33. That's the color that I picked. And it's like a medium chestnut brown. It's a very pretty color. Okay, so now that I installed all the pieces, I'm gonna show you in the invisible part. And the reason why I tell you to do skinny braids right here is that if you do a big braid, see what happens to a big braid? You have way too much of your hair coming out because the actual braid is here. It's right in the middle. So now this is how you do the invisible part technique. You're gonna crochet the hair in. Instead of pulling two strands in, you're only gonna pull in one strand. And then pull tight, separate a little bit on the top, and then you have an invisible knot. See that? This is the invisible knot technique. Oh, and you wanna make these, remember I told you um, space the crochet braids out? With the part, you wanna make sure they are tightly together because you don't wanna see none of the braids. So I'm gonna crochet another piece in right next to the first one. Just pull one strand in, not two, just one. Pull through. Separate at the top only. Just like fluff it out a bit so you can hide all of the knot. And there you go. Invisible knot technique. See? Looks like it's coming from the scalp. Okay, so I installed all the pieces in. In order for you to hide all these braids, you're gonna need about um, three and a half packs. I'm gonna style it off camera because I don't wanna mess this up. <laughs> Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Tudora Paris and on Snapchat Tudora.p. Thanks for watching. See you next week. Peace.